Welcome. In this video, I want to see how we can do partial derivatives. We normally use partial derivatives when we are dealing with uh, multivariable functions. Functions that have uh, two or more variables. Like here we have a function f expressed as a function of x and y. So we have to use partial differentiation when we want to find uh, the derivatives. So, if we write this symbol, it means partial differentiation of the function f with respect to x, and here partial differentiation of the function f with respect to y. So, when you try to do this, you the, when you try to differentiate partial with respect to x, y behaves as a constant. Similarly, when you want to differentiate with respect to y, the other variable or variables behaves as constants. So now we have to a differentiate the function with respect to x. So this will be equal to. So when you are differentiating with respect to x, the other variables to, uh, pretend to be like constants or behaves like constants. So you just go where there is x, that's where you're going to differentiate. So here, when we try to differentiate, the power multiplies by the coefficient. So we get 2, we get 2x, then you reduce the power by 1, plus the power multiplied by the coefficient, then you reduce the power by 1. But if there is y or any other variable, you just attach them there then plus here we're going to get 2y we come to b with respect to y is equal to here there is no y so this is a constant derivative of a constant is zero so here it's not going to appear we come to this one you go to y the power on y multiplies the coefficient we get 20 x squared then reduce the power on y by 1 you get that plus this multiplied by that we get 8 x then reduce the power on y by 1 we get 3 so these are the first order partial derivatives of that particular function sometimes you can be taught to find the second order if you are asked something like this respect to x squared or something like this or something like this or just y without a comma or something like this these will be the second order derivatives so when you are asked to find d round of the functions d round squared of the function with respect to x squared it means you differentiate with respect twice you differentiate with respect to y twice here you differentiate first with respect to x like the way we did here then second you differentiate with respect to y and this with respect to y second with respect to x but normally for continuous functions these two are going to be the same so sometimes you can be taught to find the second order derivative but always remember, when you are differentiating with respect to x, y, or any other variable becomes a constant. Okay. Thank you for watching and for this and more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel.